on my A channel, I've done a review video on my Kyocera DuraForce Ultra 5G. This is a hiking phone. I purchased it a few months ago as a replacement for my Kyocera DuraForce Pro 2, also a hiking phone. Now these phones can handle temperature extremes, you can get them wet, you can drop them. They're very durable. They have a built-in case, so you don't buy a separate case for them. However, the trade-off with these phones is the quality of the camera and the mic and some of the other gadgets on it aren't as good as some of the higher-end phones that are more fragile. A few months ago, while hiking around Devil's Tower, I dropped my DuraForce Pro 2 and cracked the screen, and I decided that I would go ahead and stick with the Kyocera. I would get the current production model, the Ultra 5G. Unfortunately, though, the Ultra 5G is slightly larger. In addition to some of the other upgraded features it has, that makes it easier to read the screen, but when I set it onto the charging pad between the seats on my 2020 Chevrolet Colorado, it doesn't fit, and I can't charge it just laying it on the pad like I can with the DuraForce Pro 2. Now, that's not a deal breaker. I can simply just plug it into the USB-C cable and charge the phone, so that's not an issue. However, having that, that charging pad there was kind of convenient. In the months since I've purchased the DuraForce Ultra 5G, I've now acquired an iPhone 13, which has a much smaller footprint. So I thought I would just do a short video here for my 2020 Chevrolet Colorado playlist to show how well this iPhone 13 fits onto the charging pad. It should have about the same footprint as the DuraForce Pro 2. So let's go out to the truck and try it out. All right, we're in the truck and I've got the engine running. So let me go ahead and set the DuraForce Pro 2 here on the charging pad. See the little red light came on. It fits in there just fine. Now, let me try to put the Ultra 5G in there. You can see that no matter what, it just isn't gonna go in there. And even at an angle, it's not gonna set flush. It's not gonna set flat. So now let's try the iPhone. All right, I've switched phones for filming. Here's the iPhone 13, set it on the pad. and it started charging. Now there's not a lot of room here. There's not a lot of play. Will this fit if I put a case on the phone? Let's find out. I decided I wanted a case for the phone, not just to protect it from getting damaged, but also this iPhone 13 is slippery. It slides off of pretty much anything I set it on, so I'm hoping the case will help with that. I wanted something kind of low profile and something inexpensive, so I went on Amazon and I found from a company called Torres their translucent hardback slim protective case in navy blue. It says Torres, case for smartphones, simple but unique. It's just a uh, flat box here. I'm going to go ahead and open the flap here at the top, slide it out. There's a uh, just a clear plastic shell for it, uh, something with a QR code, and interesting. It's got these green and orange buttons in this package here. I hope there isn't some assembly required. Let me take this out of the sleeve. Okay, let's just see how well the sleeve fits onto the phone. Just snaps right into place. Now on the side here, for the volume button and the power button, it's already got black buttons. I think what these are in this, this cardboard package, these are fluorescent, or kind of lime fluorescent, or orange fluorescent type uh, replacement buttons. There are instructions on the back here to pop out the existing black buttons and replace it with this, but I'm not looking for a high visibility case. I wanted something in blue to match the blue phone, so I'm going to leave this the way it is. 
Let's go out to the truck and see how well it works on the charger, if at all. All right, we're back in the truck. The engine's running. I've got the case on the iPhone 13. Let's go ahead and set it on the charging pad. Now, it's not making complete total contact with it. It won't seat in there all the way. Yeah, the cutout here, it's, it's actually setting above the cutout because of the case. So let me try to put it in at an angle, maybe. No, I don't think that's going to do it. So even with the slimline case on this iPhone 13, if I want to charge it, I'm going to have to take it out of the case. So unfortunately, I think Chevrolet had the right idea by trying to make the console this width and by adding this charging pad to it. But I really don't think that they were thinking about, thinking about a practical size for a cell phone when they did it, unfortunately. So, I'll probably just have to add another charging cable to the pickup truck. Not a problem. So if you were wondering if you can charge an iPhone 13 with your 2016 through 2022 Chevrolet Colorado, if it's equipped with this charging pad between the seats here in front of the glove box, in front of the center console I should say, glove box is over there. The answer is yes, as long as you don't put any sort of case on it. Thanks for watching.